Good day. So, we will just discuss the most used you know, DevOps tools or DevOps skills that is needed along with AWS. So, AWS is the skills if you want to become a successful DevOps engineer and you want to start a career in the DevOps. Right? So, basically, um, in DevOps um, terminology, we have some certain uh, keywords. Continuous integration. So, continuous integration is a one terminology. Uh, up, uh, to build a particular application, right? Not to deploy, okay? To build it. So build yes and the work what is needed. So Jenkins is an automation tool which will help us to do the CI series. So under continuous integration, just something, continuous deployment, just something. Circle CI is also similar to that, same competent, but it is not a free version. It is a commercial version. So it is not a free version. It is a commercial version. Commercial and we have to pay the money. And then compiler tools. Compiler tools and for example, Java developers or .NET developers or Perl, Python, Perl, right? There are so many programming languages, from so many tech stack in the enterprise. So a particular Java programming on the Gradle, on the Scala, on the Go, on the Python, for example, let's say you build some application using Python code. Python code is an application rasan. Okay. Then we should have a Python command, right? So we have a Python command, right? So we Python command, we can run that program. Same way, compiler and the source, the technical, I mean, either the programming language, or a particular app or wrapper, which will help us to do the compile and build the program. So Maven and it can help us, it can help the Java to compile and build the program. So similarly, we have for uh, build. So build, which is if you want to build a Docker images, then we go with a Docker CLI, right? So Docker engine and other software into the, um, it comes with a Docker CLI and other stuff. So again, a new word, right? So here DevOps land and majority thing CI CD, right? So CI CD and CD and a continuous deployment. So continuous deployment, we use some of the orchestration tools and what Docker orchestration or container orchestration tools and other than so that's where we use the continuous deployment. Now, there are just configuration management and internet. So if you want to configure uh, something on the servers at a global scale, so then we will go for a Ansible or Chef or Puppet. So Chef, Chef and Puppet are uh, commercial and Ansible is an open source to certain extent. Okay? Ansible Tower is open source, but still Ansible Core is open source. So source code management, which is where we want to keep our code, right? That is where we go with uh, GitHub or, you know, Bitbucket. So this is a version control system, on top, Git system, right? So next to monitoring. So DevOps lane, not only CICD, it is also a responsibility of a DevOps engineer to have an effective monitoring. So if monitoring, which is, we have many tools, Prometheus, Grafana, Splunk, right? So Splunk is commercial and Prometheus, Grafana, and there are many open source tools like Jabbix, Nagivis, Kauchu. These are all like monitoring groups, right? Now let's go to the next slide and understand, you know, what skills you really need. So what I say that if you know a little bit about shell scripting, I mean shell commands, that's all it is needed. So you could just say which skills are needed to become a DevOps engineer. So maybe a fresher gauge or a different tester gauge or maybe a different experience or different domain persons would have they can easily become a DevOps engineer, right? So DevOps engineer, uh, they have a lot of positions in outside, right? If you look at anywhere, they are really hiring, even in this crisis time also, DevOps has a lot of openings. So I think, see, Unix basics, Unix OS basics, and then the commands, and VA editor, LS command, host name, a CD uh, uh, editor ga also, cut command ga also. Even ne oche si man OS basics lo set discrete shala change ko ali I notes shala create jali permission shala change jali. These are all like Unix OS shell scripting basics. So very basics. Uh, there is nothing needed. And Jenkins also uses the shell scripting. So me advantage ante ta man Jen yada the shell script rasa ma outset the same script it is going to work in Jenkins also. And the Docker file uses OS commands, right? So uh, Kubernetes uses YAML, so which is a very simple format. So YAML and yet another markup language. It is not a programming language. Rather. It is a, just a declarative uh, syntax that we follow. Ansible, which is it will use Ansible and shell commands. So YAML and shell commands. So final if you want to become a DevOps engineer, all you need a little bit about shell commands, basic commands. 
So now if you see how automation has evolved, right? So maybe a small example I'm going to explain. So maybe if I mean Guttundala uh, Telegani, previous maybe 15 years back, which you see, what is used to happen? There is a developer used to come and then uh, maybe a support person, he will log in into the server and he will run this automation one using this command. So NJSRATAMU 7 call office coach, he has to log in and then run this particular automation. So output low cron tab gani a schedule yes name the technology, right? So Taravato Chesi uh, operating system low Linux operating system low manga cron tab and the allow in. So cron tab in just we can schedule our jobs. We put it our time on the reach of the no based on the time that we set. Let's say eight eight AM can set chess and cron tab low automatically this is going to run. So next to manual run yes, it is somewhat automated, right? Next to configure the same thing. So automated eta in the gani, but where is our problem? Where we are seeing our problem, right? So if you see, our problem is still same because if I want to check the logs and all, still I need to log in, in the server. Still I have dependency, right? Uh, with the people uh, who have access. Okwala in Jenkins lo adhe script in Ranjas there from Jitter source code gani. So put in and server crash with automatic one code would elevate the other. Now, like if I in just under Jenkins or Chintarwata. I'm going to put that code in a version control system and Jenkins will read that from version control system, right? And then run that script. So my advantage is that Jenkins also, it has a scheduler mechanism or cron tab. Taravata, the logs I can see within Jenkins itself. I can shut down that previous server that I don't need it, right? So next entity, I can create the Docker file and put the cron tab with dependencies. So you can enter so for example, I want to just you know run it uh, based on the time. I don't want to waste my resources, CPU watch, memory watch. So I can containerize it and I can host it in Kubernetes. So Kubernetes engine it will be very less price, right? It is like a pay as you go model, right? So Kubernetes law, whenever there is an work, it will start the container. If not, then it will shut down. So almost on a daily one time run runs sound. We will just uh, you know use it only once, right? The particular time. Tarawat ante frequent ka changes hai thaunna. I want to perform some end-to-end -end, uh, CI/CD automation ante. This is this is how you can also uh, configure via Jenkins CI/CD. So automatic ante to manik motam complete flow ani the unto me, right? Complete flow ani the complete flow ani the manki end-to-end ani the karun to, right? So artha main thaunde. So ekar manki uh, in terms of with the shell scripting, if you know the shell scripting, that is more enough to become a DevOps engine. And especially in AWS, in terms of AWS is providing a lot of free services, right? So if you see uh, with free account, I can do uh, some kind of magic, right? I can do some POC, uh, I can learn something, right? So you can just say, even if you have a particular AWS services, like EC2 on the virtual mission, or storage, or you know, databases, or networking, Application services also deployment models also it has provided a lot of services. So by using these services, I can easily build a DevOps CI/CD pipeline, and I can easily become a DevOps AWS DevOps engineer. Specifically, you can become a cloud cloud dependent a DevOps engineer or cloud independent a DevOps engineer. So basic intent once if you learn the DevOps still, irrespective of which cloud you use, it will be easy to integrate. So clouds are intent to plug and play. And uh, when DevOps and it comes with some standard tools under Jenkins also version control system also Ansible also. So Evidanga, you can easily learn the few things, right? So with the same reason, we are providing a course from Python Life Institute. So just let me clear this. Yeah. So we are providing a course from the Python uh, Institute. This course is going to start in the May 22nd. So next month, 22nd. Um, Deeplo Chesi, we are going to teach from the basics. DevOps basics, Linux basics, Git basics, Maven basics, or how to do a build, or Jenkins basics, and then go into a advanced mode. Docker Goda from basics to advanced, Kubernetes from basics to advanced as an end user on how you deploy all those things you will learn and more. So, I mean, easy and it's good. So, this particular syllabus is the same. And the syllabus is the same. And the AWS, whoever, even if you are a new, also no problem. We are starting. We are going to start from the scratch, right? So cloud and TNT, AWS account creation and TNT, all those things we are saying, right? And the next, which is virtual private cloud. So everything on firewalls and a control is called. Everything 
DNS routing jali. So these are all we are going to learn and do the things practically also, right? So practically, man, see, when we make our hands dirty, and then hands dirty, and then we have to try at least for 10, 15 times with the errors, failures. Failures are common, don't worry. So man, can't and then name code is just practically me mundara code rasa onda. So there is not something like copy side, me kada paste side, just execute side, all the concept onda do. We'll always, you know, um, write it in the class itself. And then we we'll learn, all of them will learn together. And then if there is any problems, you give suggestions or I'll give suggestions or you uh, you learn it or maybe you can tell me the better way also doing it, right? So this is all like a, like a collaborative discussion and a healthy discussion. So in particular course, law, this is what we are going to learn. And um, we are always going with the labs, preferences more, like 60 to 70 percent labs on time. 30 to 40 percent will be like theory and also we will learn it while doing it. Thank you. If you are interested, we feel free to enroll this course and we are offering for the very less price. Thank you so much.